Thank you, Jim. Well, our last game today is Coventry City against Manchester City. Coventry coming to this match in sixth place and moving towards a place in Europe next season. Manchester City playing their first game since John Benson was confirmed as their manager in place of John Bond. The pictures now come from Central Television. Let's first take a check on the two teams. Coventry welcome back Jerry Francis to their midfield. That's significant. He's missed the last couple of games through injury. Manchester City, meanwhile, they've not won in their last five games, and now, to add to their troubles, they miss Dennis Stewart and goalkeeper Joe Corrigan. Alex Williams takes over in goal. Let's join our commentator, Peter Brackley. Michael Dimbleby of Stevenage then takes charge today. Coventry kicking off and attacking the goal to our right in this first half, looking to avenge a 3-2 defeat at Main Road earlier on the season. Their first touch for Alex Williams. Coming in today for Joe Corrigan. Roberts again the target is Haitley Caton too strong in the air again no way forward for Roberts With Bodak pressing behind him May giving it straight to Butterworth now Roberts Now Rose in pursuit, Ratson's gone with him, shot off the ball by Ray Ratson was Jim Melrose. So a Coventry free kick. And the big central defender, Paul Dyson, is just inside the area. And Mark Hakeney too, there's certainly a lot of aerial power about Coventry, they're one of the biggest sides in the league I would think. Steve Hunt, faced by a two-man wall. Goalkeeper came off the bar. Has it gone in? Scrambled away, and Reeves clearing. Only as far, though, as Hunt. And City can scramble it clear now. That really was a let-off then for Manchester City. The ball beating Alex Williams and coming back off the bar, and City got it away. So here we can see the free kick again, taken there by Steve Hunt, right across the area, Williams stranded really, the ball coming off Dyson there, then striking Kevin Bond, and cleared away by Reeves. Thomas, well, it was too quick William for Kevin Reeves then, I think Reeves acknowledging the fact he certainly brought him down, but it was the speed of Thomas that really left Kevin Reeves struggling. Now Francis with the free kick. Gillespie this time has come up. Whitten picking it on. Now Melrose. And Chip Melrose has broken the deadlock. The spanking shot inside the area. And Alex Williams couldn't prevent from going past him. There's Francis with the free kick chipped in. Delicate flick on by Whitten. I think it was Gillespie there who tried the bicycle kick. Well driven effort by Jim Melrose. There's the man who couldn't stop that shot from Melrose, Alex Williams. Reeves looking to turn it back to his goalkeeper, but there's no way through. Donald's caught. Whitten, first time ball in. Driven through by Hunt. Just wide. City then caught. Bordling at the back. And Whitten's first time crossover was hit powerfully and only just wide by Steve Hunt. player who's gone off the board a little bit in the last few matches, Steve Hunt. Certainly having plenty of say in this match so far. Donald pumping it forward. Cross prepared to battle for the ball. He can only turn it out for a goal kick. It's now to half time and Coventry certainly in control, but well worth their lead. Hakeley away from Kate. It's Melrose up in support, going it alone. What a goal! That was a magnificent goal by Mark Hakeley. Taking on defenders, it was away from Kate. Then just looking up, seeing the opportunity. That was 
was an incredible drive. You can see Ransom starting to back off. I think he's going to try one from there and beating the outstretched arm of Alex Williams. 37 minutes gone, it's 2 0 to Coventry. Mark Hakeley's ninth goal of the season. And I doubt if he scored a better one than that so far. And then Melrose with a perfect lay off to Steve Whitman. Again taking the ball just too far. He's done it on a couple of occasions in the first half. He looks such a powerful player coming forward. Now Hunt to Francis. End of imagination about Coventry. Hunt. Looking for a way through. Leaving it then for Melrose. Hitting the bar. And Reed able to touch it back to Williams. Chip Melrose tearing in disbelief. Again, it was a tremendous shot. Beating the goalkeeper and hitting the bar. Started there by Francis. Then uh, Hunt involved. And there you'll see Melrose taking over. Without a second thought, thumping it in and off the bar. The crowd really warming now to Coventry's performance. Now into injury time. Referee having a good look at the watch. There goes the half-time whistle on the end of a very satisfying first half of Coventry. Certainly manager Dave Saxton's decision to aim as his two strikers up front. Hickley and Melrose has paid off. They've got the two goals. Melrose with the first, and then Hately a brilliant second goal. And at half-time, Coventry are well in command, leading by two goals to nil. So away we go then for the second half. Manchester City getting us underway. A long punted ball upfield by Tommy Caton. And certainly Manchester City have got a lot to do if they're to avoid defeat here. But Coventry have lost only once at home this season in the league. That was when Arsenal beat them 2-0 back in September. Francis always seems to have so much time and so much class too. And a savage lunge done by Tommy Cate. Foul on Steve Hunt. Cate accepting that perhaps he was a little too vigorous there. I'm sure that Steve Hunt would vouch for that. The four-man wall that Manchester City have directed in front of Jerry Francis and Steve Hunt. Who tosses it off now then to Gillespie. There's number three. Gary Gillespie's first goal of the season. And it surely now put this match beyond Manchester City's reach. 11 minutes into the second half. Well worked free kick. Francis with the dummy run. Hunt touching it square. And Gillespie driving it low, might just have taken a deflection, but certainly beyond the goalkeeper. Gary Gillespie has made his mark now. May has been a run upfield. It goes Reed. May is away to his left. Thomas playing it quickly out of defence for Francis. Coventry players quickly sprinting upfield, but Francis going in alone. Can he finish? To Melrose. Off the line, and Hunter scored. It's turning into a comprehensive victory for Coventry. And Steve Hunt, with his fourth goal of the season, makes it 4 0. But the man who played it was Jerry Francis, taking on Cape. An intelligent run here by the Coventry captain. And then look how he lays it back. Melrose with the first chance. Half cleared off the line by Ransom and Hunt tucking it away. So Jerry Francis certainly making his presence felt. They've missed him in the last couple of games. Now he's very much back in the Coventry side. Tommy Cate. And the cross and Reeves and Bond. Coventry clear. And off goes Hunt. Melrose 
Morales is onside. Can this be five? Good save by the keeper. And Kate just away off the toes of Mark Kate Melrose was through then. Superbly weighted pass by Steve Hunt. Off goes Melrose. May pursuing him. And the goalkeeper got his angles perfectly right. by the shot from Jim Melrose. But all right now, Alex Williams. It's Hunt with the corner. Cleared by Kate. Dyson then to Hunt. Park. Sensible ball finding Hartford. But again, and then Jerry Francis get some 30 odd yards all the way back to the goalkeeper. May to Bodak taking on Thomas, doesn't beat him, but May could get a crack here. Free kick is just outside the area. Four minutes left, perhaps a chance for Manchester City to salvage something from this match. Really have had no answer to the devastating finish of Coventry. over the ball and Kevin Bond Bodak hitting the bar away by Thomas well that was almost a consolation there for Peter Bodak against his old club there's the free kick curled over the top of the wall and off the woodwork Caton beating Melrose in the air Whitten Called then by Kate, Kevin Bond. Gillespie just there first. How well Gillespie has played at the heart of Coventry's defence. Now Hunt. And the ball ran away from him. This is Park. Now Hartford. Good first time ball from Hartford finding Reeves. What a save by Celia. Reeves was through then. And the goalkeeper made a marvellous save. Ball knocked over the top by Asa Hartford. And Reeves there with the shot. And well saved. That goes Hartford with Butterworth. Ball too long from Melrose. Now, two seconds remaining. The most emphatic win then for Coventry. They beat Manchester City here by four goals to nil. Melrose and Hakeney with these two goals in the first half, and then Gillespie and Hunt adding to the tally in the second half. And the man who inspired this Coventry performance, Jerry Francis, back in the side today, despite that painful arm injury certainly he was the man behind their success and Coventry have won here in style 4-0 the final score yes a handsome victory for Coventry there they are in fifth place in the table Manchester United Watford Forest they didn't play today Villa as Jim said had that 2-0 win over Everton